Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, as you guys can see by the titles, titles, two titles for you today, folks. Let me just start off with, I have never done a video like this before. I don't, you know, I used to do Bath and Body Works hauls and I would try and explain the sense of candles and it just went terrible. Apple crumbles. This one smells like an apple, but like a really good one. Like, what does that smell like? Mmm, like yum. <laughs> Ice cream shop? Mmm, that smells like kind of vanilla. Homemade cookies? I was so excited for this one. Mmm. Smells like sweet cookies. Okay. I'm so horrible at explaining. So we're going to be diving into that today, and I'm going to be trying to describe Ethan and Grayson's collaboration to make perfume colognes. Did they make like what they ideally want to smell like, or what they want to smell? Or are those the same scent? Are these questions that you guys are wondering, or is it just me? <laughs> We might answer them today. Either way, I was practicing last night. I was grabbing candles, I was grabbing perfumes, and trying to describe the scent to make it make sense. So I'm practiced up, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna be trying to tell you guys what they smell like and inevitably choosing whose scent is better. Yeah! I'm super excited to do this. I wonder, maybe I'll have a future in describing smells. I don't know, either way, very excited to try these. This collaboration was so random out of the blue. I don't know if they ever talked about it before, like a week before launching it, but you guys were just tweeting, 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 tweeting. Like I didn't even know the launch date and I ended up buying it within 10 minutes of its first launch. So you guys were on the ball, so thank you guys for that. But anyways, yeah, this is just gonna be a quick video. Here is the box that came in, super little. It took about two weeks to get to me and I live in Canada, so that's pretty good. And then here are the colognes. Perfumes, actually, let me read right now. Is this a perfume or a cologne? Okay, they're saying Ethan and Grayson's signature scents. So does that mean that's what they smell like? Ooh, they describe the scents a little on here. Hmm. Okay, so they're signature scents, so I'll just call it scents. But basically, I had never heard of Wakeheart before, and it looks like it is a brand new brand with this launch. So that's very exciting. I wouldn't even be surprised if behind all of this, this is like Ethan and Grayson's brand. I have no idea. Just speculations. Actually, don't take everything I say with a grain of salt. Don't run with any of this. I just want to share something really, really small before we dive into it. I actually have met Ethan and Grayson before. Let me tell you the story. It was so anticlimactic. I think I should share it. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it's just while we're on the topic of them, I'll bring up because it's kind of funny. It was at Coachella this year or like last. No, it was this year this previous Coachella. I had just met Bryant and I was hanging out with him and it was later in the day and he had to go get his like Coachella camera pass, which basically gives people the right to like take a full blown camera into Coachella. I don't know, maybe there's rules around it. I still am not really sure. So yeah, we were just hanging out. So he was like, do you want to come with? And I was like, sure. So basically you just go to where everybody gets their wristbands, their VIP, their artists, like anything you want. There's just huge lines of people waiting to get their wristbands. So we went and on the way there, Grayson FaceTimed uh, Bryant. And I was just like, okay. Okay, because obviously Bryant, Ethan, and Grayson are friends, so they do talk casually. That's totally, I should have expected that. But yeah, so then we get there and we're like walking up and then there's Ethan and Grayson, we go up and I just am like, <laughs> just like, and then Brian introduced me and I, I think I shook their hands, I have no idea. Yeah, that's basically it. And then I stood there silently for probably 10 minutes in the lineup, didn't talk to Ethan and Grayson, I will say, they are very enthusiastic and like high energy 
in their videos they really seem like they're like high energy so you wonder like oh are they just putting it on for the camera no like they're very high energy and like really enthusiastic it's quite contagious to be around it was late at night and they were like jumping around which was making me like should i be jumping around like you know what i mean but yeah then when they went to leave they gave me a hug which was really sweet kind of stressed because i think i might have left makeup on grayson's shirt he was wearing a black shirt <laughs> whatever it doesn't really matter but anyways there you go that's my experience with meeting them they were really kind said hi said pie that's all anyways now let's smell their signature scents. Now that I got that out of the way, I don't know why I wanted to share that so bad. Okay, uh, in no particular order, I'm gonna do Ethan's scent first. So, all right, packaging, very cute. It's just like a sleek white. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces, and I'll put the price in the corner. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't too much though. I remember it being reasonable, especially for like a scent very packaged well <laughs> and on the top it has their signature this is ethan's signature it's it's pretty he has a good signature very nice all right here is the the smell so there is is this a bracelet or an anklet i'm not sure but either way here it is it's their signature purple and this one has a little turtle on it very cute and it was like wrapped around here and then here is the bottle. It's so sleek, like it's very clean. I'm gonna take this, like at perfume shops, and we're gonna spray it on here, you guys. <sighs> Let me clean out my nose. <sighs> All right, Ethan's scent. Let's see, what can I do with this? Oh my goodness, how am I gonna describe this? Oh my gosh. <sighs> This sucks. I like can't think of anything. <laughs> An oaky afterbirth. <laughs> okay, this is gonna make absolutely no sense. Let me paint a picture. Fruit Loops, but really mature. Like if a uh, grandma was to eat Fruit Loops, that's not really it. Hold on. I want to see what they're describing it like. Like, are you kidding me? This is so difficult. A sweet, inviting fragrance with facets of coffee blossom, silky almond, and toasted vanilla. It doesn't smell like coffee. It does smell kind of blossomy. All right, it's really good. I'm going to revisit this. <laughs> that one's really good, so. And now after that perfect description of Ethan's, we're going to move on to Grayson's right now. The same packaging. I have seen some pictures, and I think that it's pretty much the exact same, except his is this little feather charm, which kind of looks like the earring that he wears or wore. I don't know if he still wears it, but it looks like what I would imagine it did. So there, Grayson sent. Let's freaking hope that I have some better luck at describing these. Like my goodness, I really, really practiced. Okay, let's see. I actually really, really like that they did a like scent collaboration because not many people have. Like it's kind of a fun idea. Oh my gosh, it is so different. <clears throat> okay, okay, this one smells like so clean all right this one's way easier to describe lemon like i don't want to say laundry detergent as like a negative like i say laundry detergent in like the biggest way like the biggest compliment every time i do laundry i take the bottle of tide and i'm just like <sighs> like it smells so good and every candle i have is like a clean smell like this is very much something i like anyone could wear this i mean anyone can wear any perfume they want but i'm just saying like this isn't like a definite super sweet or super musky musty like it's really really unique oh my gosh this smells so good this is like nothing i've smelled before oh my gosh okay how did they describe this one refreshing fragrance with fragrance fragrance with subtle hints of cool rain and lychee this one's really really clean really airy really beachy definitely not like a candy sweet fragrance oh and which one do i like more what the freak does this one smell like? Ethan smells like something. 
This video is turning out exactly how I thought it would. Just me stressed out over the scents of these perfumes. Okay. I'm so horrible at explaining. But you know what? You guys wanted to see it. I will do whatever you guys want, so... Okay, I will say though, um, they both smell really good. Like definitely, I can actually tell that they put some work into like designing these scents because they do not, like neither of them smell basic. Like they don't smell like anything or any other perfumes I have smelled. So that's nice because I was worried that it would just be like a kind of like quick thing just put together, but you can kind of tell like, these are difficult scents, and I'm not just saying that to credit the fact that I have no idea how to describe them. Okay, I'm gonna lock in Grayson as like a sweet, tied, beachy smell. Floral, sweet. <sighs> Cheerios is like taking the sweet and flowery and like basicing it up. Like making it more basic rather than acidic. <laughs> Whoa. My first perfume review, how did it go? I think my descriptor of scents needs some help. I wish so badly I could just spray it at you guys and you could smell it because seriously, if you don't wanna buy it or you can't afford it or you can't get both, like it's fun to, have, to be able to smell them at least. Like I hope eventually these go in stores so that everybody can smell them. But there you go, so that was Grayson's. Just take a sniff of Ethan's, here you go. Now which one do I like more? I really like them. I'm just excited that they made Scents like that sounds so much fun. Like I would love to make a scent, but okay. I can't choose a favorite I honestly can't you guys it stresses me out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me reviewing these uh, Scents if you guys want anything else reviewed make sure to comment it down below I'm sorry if this video was a waste of your time. I honestly wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out So hopefully you guys enjoyed it um yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to click the subscribe button. I post every Friday and sometimes Sundays, and I'd love to see you guys there. And yes, thank you, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!